so we made it back home after a little disappointing yesterday. Uh -huh. uh, white knuckle did not <laughs> did not go as planned. Running out of fuel is not the way to <laughs> end a race. That that uh, uh, I can't let that happen again. So, <clears throat> but I I did find another thing on the bike. Check this out. Look at it. My tire is like not even on the bead. I have no idea how long it's been like that. And I got a, I got big moose in there, so <laughs> it should be pushed out. I think I might have toasted, toasted my big moose. I don't know. That would kind of explain why it felt like I had a flat tire um, this weekend. Um, yeah, look at this. It's got chunks of rubber coming out of there, like. Uh, I have no idea what's going on there. No idea. And then I got my sprockets not looking too good either. It's starting to get squared out already. <clears throat> not bad, but not great. I don't know, front tire's looking all right. I need to get this thing washed up so I can see a little better what's going on. You clean that helmet? Yeah. Okay. It's very dirty. I got washed. It is. Can, can I hose it off first before you scrub it? Yeah. Okay. Me and the kid are going to wash the bike in gear. What are you doing? Wash the bike. follow it it just disappears it's like it's like not even on the beat anymore a, time for new tire so here's my front wheel or tire um, it's looking pretty good just a little round on the edges um, honestly if I wasn't racing I'd just keep using it but I know these bib mooses they don't last forever they're kind of got a shelf life on them so uh, I figure I'll just redo them both at the same time and just get it over with. So this tire I'm running is a Bridgestone and it's an M59 and I'm running the tire size, the 80 by 100 on a 21 inch wheel. Yeah, I, th I thought the front was pretty good. Um, if it feels like it's a little bit smaller, so sometimes if I pound through some rocks, I uh, definitely feel like it was bottoming out or, or hitting rim. Um, other than that, though, that M59 tire, it was it's solid, and with that bib moose, like they just oh, they're they're just awesome in the rocks specifically. They just they track on the rocks. There's no like bouncing around side to side movement. Okay, so these two tires. Now we're headed to Motorsports of Olympia for those awesome dudes to hook me up with some new freshies. She looks naked without any wheels and tires on there. All right, it is Thursday. We are headed to Odessa for the Desert 100. Again, but only a day earlier this time. Okay, just getting packed up. Oh, the lens is dirty. All right, yeah, it was a late night last night getting packed up. It's typical, save everything in the last minute. Um, yeah, I gotta load pretty much everything. I have nothing loaded, my bike, my tools, my fuel. Um, so I need to put a can of haul ass on it and uh, start loading this stuff so we don't get over there super late and in a long line. I did, however, get my tires back. I got some new meats on there. 
this tire is a 120 by 100 running a little bigger up there or back there and then this is a, a Dunlop tire I was running the Bridgestone before um, again not not necessarily a tire I wanted but uh, the only thing I could get a hold of at the minute at the moment so I wasn't tireless for the Desert 100 so there we go okay just finishing up packing got the trailer loaded I'm just putting a couple extra tools in the trailer right now all the bikes and, and everything's loaded yeah we're all packed up ready to go I really have like no organization in this trailer I just look at I got tools and buckets shit just <laughs> just random shit everywhere like it does, this trailer is nice, but it is not like equipped yet to store a bunch of tools and stuff. But got the little pit bike. I brought the pressure washer just in case I'm convinced to ride the poker run so I can wash my bike. Um, but yeah, other than that, pretty much got everything we're ready to go. Okay, though, I need to put this camera away. <laughs> And like finally finish up getting ready. It's 11:30, so it's already a half hour past uh, when I want to leave. But we'll get out of here. We'll make it there. I'm sure of it. Hopefully. Desert 100 or bust. Yeah. Desert 100 or bust. Stuck in traffic, not cool. Hey buddy. Hey bud. You made it. That's right. We made it finally. It's wet. We almost got stuck too. Really, really muddy. I moved cow poop already. Yeah. But we're here. We made it. Come on. Done? Oh, wait.
steaks are done. Oh, yeah, man. beef. It's what's for dinner. Nice. That's gonna be a good dinner. <laughs>